everybody, it's Sarah. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I make videos about minimalism, being a stay-at-home mom, healthy eating, and mental illness. Um, also, be sure to like the video afterwards, or now, whatever you prefer. Um, today I'm making a video about my morning routine slash my nighttime prep to help me in the morning to make the mornings run a little bit more smoothly. This video re was requested by one of my Instagram followers, and though I don't really feel, I guess, like I have the most authority to make this video because I'm a stay-at-home mom, um, I'm going to just kind of let you guys know what I do and what works for me and for our family. So I've kind of broken it down to three different categories of days for me because our days really vary in our family based on what I'm doing that day. And so I've got my computer right behind my phone because I have notes typed up because I cannot remember all of this information. So um, looking at it right now to help me remember what all I'm going to say, the first kind of day is just like our typical stay at home day. Like we're not really doing anything. And on that day, I'm going to be honest, we have no routine. We wake up whenever the little child chooses to wake up. And that can be anywhere from like, 8 to 10 in the morning. So we just wake up, we brush our teeth, we eat breakfast, we do whatever we want to do, and there's really no schedule to that. So the second kind of day is whenever I get up to teach VIP kit. And so I wake up at like 4.45, I immediately go get a cup of coffee, and did I say that right? A cup of coffee. And then I grab like a granola bar or just something fast, banana, and just like devour it and then I start teaching immediately while he's still asleep in the bedroom next door and then after he teach it after <laughs> I cannot even talk right now after I teach he'll eventually wake up and then we'll start our day like a normal stay-at-home day so I'm really in this video gonna be focusing on days when we have to hurry and get up and get out of the house so that would be probably like what most normal people's days are like for people who either go to school or go to college or like a job or whatever um, so for us that would be like if we have plans like to go out to a play date or a doctor's appointment or if we're going to church or something so on those days I have a list of some things that I like to do to try to help the day run a little bit more smoothly most of them actually happen at night so I really think the key to having a good morning routine is to start at night that's probably my biggest tip from this whole video is to start your planning the night before um, so first of all, I would say lay out your clothes, shoes, accessories, everything the night before. Not only would I say to lay it out, but if you're like me, I would say try it on. So many times I have laid out my clothes and I think like, okay, I'm good. I'm set for the next day. And the next day I put the clothes on and I'm like, this looks horrible. <laughs> and then I'm stuck like right where I would have been anyway, had I not even laid out my clothes. So I would try the clothes on and make sure you like how it looks and then lay them out and then you'll be good so try your clothes on lay them out um that would even be the same like for your bags like if you're gonna have to like pack a bag or something i would already have it packed i would even put it in your car that's just gonna be one less thing because if you're like me i would have like my bag i'll have my kid i might even have like a cup of coffee and my breakfast like that's just too much to carry out to the car in one trip so you're gonna be making two trips like just load everything up in the car that you can the night before that'll be one less thing you have to do um, so let's see, if you're gonna be eating breakfast, which you should be, because it's the most important meal of the day, have your breakfast planned and like laid out and ready to go. For me, um, I have been using a French press to make my coffee, so I will have like my water in my container ready to heat up. I will have my coffee grounds in the French press, like poured out, ready to go. I will have my breakfast laid out, ready. The more you have ready and prepped, the smoother your morning is gonna go. So things like that I would do. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Um, wake up earlier than you have to. So I don't do this probably as early as I should. Some people wake up like super duper early. That way they can like get up, have like some chill downtime before they actually start getting ready. I don't wake up quite that early, but I give myself a window where I have, you know, 10 to 20 minutes that I really don't have to get up quite yet. That way I'm not in a really big rush because if you wake up like 
where you absolutely have to get up and start getting ready, then you're just going to be in rush panic mode the whole time and then you can't really enjoy your morning. Um, now, I stick to a pretty simple, pretty basic hair and makeup routine and that really has started since becoming a mom, which I feel like a lot of women do that once they become mothers because you just really don't have time with the energy. Um, but a lot of it has also come since I transitioned to minimalism. And so for me, for my hair, pretty much it's either going to be one of a few different ways. I wear it straight like this for the most part. Um, sometimes if I straighten it, I might like put a little bit of like a little tiny baby curl at the bottom of it like that um or I will use my curling wand and I can curl it all since it's this short I can curl it all in like five-ish ten minutes um or I'll wear it up in a bun or a ponytail and those are about the four styles that I do and I can do those pretty fast for my makeup this is a pretty simple makeup look that I'll do on like a daily basis just mascara eyebrows concealer and lips um sometimes I might do eyeliner if I'm feeling fancy um, that's really about the only other thing that I will add. And so, um, if you would like a video of a makeup tutorial, oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm that brave to do that on the internet, but that would be something I can maybe venture into later on. Um, but I also try to use vegan products because I have been vegan for a year now. And so most of the products I use are actually just e.l.f. Um, so they're all very affordable, but they're not doing harm to animals, and so that's something that I feel good about as well. But keeping your makeup and your hair routine simple is going to help you in the mornings because you're not dealing with, you know, 20 minutes of just makeup, which is what I, what I used to do when I was teaching. I would wake up and contour my face every day, and, you know, we don't have time for that anymore. So keeping it simple is going to save you time and make your mornings a lot less stressful. And who really cares if you have a contour face? I don't care. They don't care either. And then lastly, okay, this is a secret. I don't tell people this, so I don't know why I'm telling you this. But if you're really in a hurry, this is my trick. Sometimes I prefix my hair and makeup the night before. Yeah. So what I've done, if I know I'm going to be in like a terrible, terrible, terrible bad hurry the next morning, like if I have to wake up ridiculously early, I have curled my hair the night before and then slept on it and then just like shook it out and just add a little hairspray the next morning. Or I've put on like, my eyeliner and mascara and then just barely touched it up a little bit and added lipstick the next morning because it makes life so much easier. And I know that's probably not the best for your skin. I know your hair is not going to look perfect, but it saves you time and it has been a lifesaver. So if you know that you're just going to be in like a real pinch, you're welcome. And the last part of my morning routine is nothing like that you have to do, but it just makes it a little bit more enjoyable. I love listening to music or like a podcast or YouTube video. So while I'm getting ready, I will usually have music playing like some sort of either like worship music. Um, I really like Stephen Malcolm. I think that's his name. I could be wrong. I think it's Stephen Malcolm. He has like Christian hip hop music, stuff like that. Um, and then I don't even know. I should look at the names of this stuff. It usually just sends it into like a playlist of other music like that. And so I'll have that playing in the background. Or I'll listen to stuff like Jenny Mustard is one of my favorite people ever. She is awesome. She is from um, Scandinavia. And she has really awesome videos about minimalism and fashion and things of that nature. So I'll watch a lot of her videos. Just anything about minimalism, decluttering, simple living. That's my kind of thing. So... I'll tend to have stuff like that going on in the background. So just having something that will get you happy, have you in a good mood while you're getting ready and starting your day, I think is really important. So whatever that is for you, um, find something like that that you can listen to and have going on in the background, and I'm sure that will make your day be off to a great start. So I hope you enjoyed hearing what my morning routine was like. I don't know if anyone even cares about this, but that one person that asked for it, here it is just for you. I hope you enjoyed it. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let me know what your favorite part is of your morning routine. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.